Today we will look at 10 interesting facts about dachshunds you need to know. Dachshunds, often affectionately known as doxies or wiener dogs, are most famous for their adorable and quite funny shape. But these long bodies and short legs were intended for more than simply making humans fall in love with them. Although they may not look it, dachshunds were carefully bred to be ferocious hunters. They were employed on the trail to scramble down badger and rabbit holes to flush out prey. They are still used as hunting dogs, but most modern dachshunds are just as happy with daily playtime and lazing around the home with their humans. The dachshund is undoubtedly one of the most unmistakable dogs that are easy to spot and even more effortless to love. They are an interesting breed that is fiercely loyal and make for wonderful pets. So let's get on to the facts about these dogs that will surely leave you amazed. Fact number one, they've been around for a long time. This breed actually first appeared in the early 1500s, but it wasn't until about 100 years later that they earned the name dachshund. The original German dachshunds were bigger than the modern variety, weighing between 31 to 40 pounds, and initially came in both straight-legged and crook-legged varieties with the modern dachshund being descended from the latter. What's more, doxies were one of the first 14 breeds recognized by the American Kennel Club. The dachshund took its place on the registry in 1885, just one year after the organization's founding. These fierce little dogs descend from the pincher and the miniature French pointer. They have certainly inherited their looks and big personality too. Moreover, while dachshund's wiener dog look is iconic, breeders created them for a particular function over many years. They favored those with narrow, low-slung bodies for navigating through small holes and floppy ears to protect their ear canals from dirt and bugs. Although it looks like they have weirdly long bodies, they're reasonably proportionate in size to other small hounds, being only a little longer. It is their very short legs and ribcage that give them such an odd shape. Even the curved tail of the dachshund has deliberately been bred into the dog. It has a dual purpose, to be seen more easily in long grass and to help haul the dog out if it becomes stuck in a burrow. So, it seems that humans have had a heavy hand in shaping this breed for over 400 years. Fact number two, they have a range of looks. The dachshund has many distinctive kinds of coat styles and coloring, and they are all equally adorable. Doxies can have smooth, wire-haired, or long-haired coats. Once upon a time, all dachshunds used to have smooth coats, and this variety is still the most popular. We think that breeders likely cross smooth dachshunds with other dog breeds to produce the other coat varieties. The smooth-haired dachshunds are silky short-furred pups, whereas the wire-haired dachshunds have more bristly and shaggy-looking coats. Meanwhile, long-haired dachshunds are precisely what they sound like – long, smooth-haired dogs. A list of standard coat colors the AKC recognizes is also huge and includes various combinations of black, brown, cream, and tan, as well as red, fawn, and the unusually named Wheaton and Wild Boar. That's a lot of different looks for one little dog. Which is your favorite? Fact number three. One size doesn't fit all. Doxies are all pretty petite, but they do come in two sizes, miniature and standard. The American Kennel Club considers dachshunds of 11 pounds or under as miniature, whereas those weighing between 16 and 32 pounds are regarded as standard. The standard version of the dachshund was the original breed descended from the crooked-legged hunting hounds we learned about earlier, and the miniature varieties didn't come about until later on. Both are popular, with one being more suited to an indoor urban lifestyle while the other fits in well with more active households. Regardless of size, wiener dogs rank among the top 10 most popular breeds in 76 of 190 major U.S. cities surveyed by the AKC. Fact number four, they go by many names. As you may have already realized, the dachshund seems to have more aliases than any spy. They're known by a variety of names, including badger dogs, sausage dogs, wiener dogs, and doxies. The original name Dachshund is actually made of two German words, Dachs, meaning badger, and Hund, meaning dog. In Germany, Dachshunds are also widely called Dachl. However, there are hunters that refer to them as Tekel. This causes some to think that it's a different breed of dog entirely. Yet, in reality, Dachl and Tekel are just two different words for the same lovable pup. One of the reasons for these many names is that the popularity of this breed declined during the war, since they were used as anti-Germany propaganda. Posters emblazoned with the dachshund's image would proclaim, we love dogs, but not this one, and propaganda literature would liken the German Kaiser to a rabid dachshund. While this wasn't a good look for the docile doxy, their popularity would once again soar in the years that followed the war. To counteract negative connotations, the AKC tried rebranding dachshund as badger dogs, and even as liberty pups. Since those themes never really stuck, we are not sure how well it worked, but by any name, we are glad they are still around. If you are interested in dog facts and want to learn more about other breeds, 
check out some of our playlists. It would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos and can learn more about dogs. Fact number five, the food was named after them. Although it may seem counterintuitive, it is thought that the deli food named hot dog was coined because of the iconic looks of the dachshund. Remember, this is an old breed, older than the food concept. As the story goes, hot dogs were initially called hot dachshunds, but a sports cartoonist named Tad Dorgan had a hard time spelling it. So Tad nicknamed the food hot dogs, and it stuck. Weirdly enough, things have come full circle, and now dachshunds are often called wiener dogs because of their long bodies that resemble hot dogs. So perhaps there should be a new saying. What came first, the dachshund or the hot dog? Fact number six, they have a history in sport. The official mascot for the 1972 Munich Olympic Games was a colorful stylized dachshund named Waldi. Created by the German designer Otto Eicher, Waldi was based on a real long-haired dachshund named Sherry von Birkenhoff and was created to represent the attributes described as required for athletes, resistance, tenacity, and agility. This was actually the first time the Olympics had a mascot, and the Olympic officials even went so far as to plot that year's marathon route in the shape of a dachshund. What's more, Waldi-related items were sold worldwide. Doxy mascot was available as a plush toy and plastic toy. It appeared on buttons, posters, stickers, and as a pin. Additionally, the overall bill for the 1972 games was $750 million, which was more than three times the amount Mexico spent on the 1968 games. This resulted in some unofficial posters of Waldi appearing depicting the mascot using the Olympic Tower as a fire hydrant. Moreover, Dachshund races started in Australia in the 1970s and have since spread worldwide. The Wiener Schnitzel Wiener Nationals have been going on every year in Southern California since 1995. It's not a very serious sport since Dachshunds were never meant to be racing dogs, but it sure is fun to watch. Fact number seven, they were born to be hunters. As you now know, the word Dachshund means badger dog in German, and the breed is true to its name. The tiny but mighty standard Dachshund was notoriously good at catching badgers burrowed in their holes. This breed's short legs help keep them low to the ground, allowing them to track scents, and their narrow bodies enable them to crawl into burrows looking for prey. Despite their small size, Dachshunds are very brave and fierce. Yet badgers aren't the only animals Doxies are good at hunting. Over the years, they were bred in different varieties in order to hunt different kinds of prey. They have also been known to track wounded deer, flush out foxes, and even take on wild boar and wolverines. Even the miniature doxies' small size doesn't stop them from catching small game like rabbits and squirrels. Fact number eight, they're really good at the sport earth dog. The dachshund's specially shaped body and talent for digging make them pros in the earth dog world. If you're unfamiliar with the earth dog, it's essentially a sport where dogs run through man-made holes dug in the ground to mark a scent. These tests gauge how good a hunter your dog really is. They're non-competitive and every dog is judged individually on their ability to seek and locate rats underground. But fear not, rodent lovers, in these tents, the rats are safely caged and are never harmed. Dachshunds are clearly well suited to this task. They are naturals at earth dogs and are one of the most common dogs to be used in these competitions. After all, it's what they were bred to do. What is your favorite fact about dachshunds? Let us know in the comments and share your thoughts with other enthusiasts. Fact number nine. They are a favorite of the famous. As we mentioned, this is an old breed, and that means they've been popular with a lot of people throughout history. The breed garnered so much favor in early 19th century Europe after Queen Victoria expressed them as her favorite breed. To quote the queen, nothing will turn a man's home into a castle more quickly and effectively than a dachshund. Additionally, the current queen of Denmark, Margrethe II, also has particular fondness for dachshunds and has kept many throughout her life. Her 80th birthday, celebrated in 2020, was marked by posing with one of her favorites, Lilia, on the grounds of Friedensborg Castle. Other famous and celebrity owners of this breed include the artists Andy Warhol and Pablo Picasso, actors Jack Black and Josh Duhamel, musician Adele and presidents Grover Cleveland and briefly John F. Kennedy before he realized he was allergic to them. With company like that, it is impossible to deny just how well-loved these dogs are. Fact number 10. They can live forever? Well, not exactly. Let us explain. Dachshunds do typically live 13 to 16 years, which is longer than most dog breeds on average. In fact, two of the 23 dogs to hold the Guinness World Record for the oldest living dog have been Dachshunds. As impressive as that is, there's another thing to consider. The first British dog to be ever successfully cloned was a Dachshund named Winnie. Winnie's owner entered a contest to win the chance to have her dog cloned, a procedure that would usually cost over $60,000. 
Scientists from South Korea then took a skin sample from Winnie and created Mini Winnie. Her owner says Mini Winnie looks precisely like Winnie looked when she was a puppy. Mini Winnie is healthy and is expected to live a long life. The original Winnie is over 12 years old now, but because her clone is genetically the same dog, theoretically, if they were cloned every decade or so, they could be considered to be biologically immortal. Obviously, they can't really be regarded as the same dog, just like how identical twins are not the same person. There will always be other factors affecting personality, looks, behavior, and temperament. But it is comforting to know that even old, neutered, or spayed dogs have a chance of having a long-lasting legacy. Dachshunds are clearly a fascinating breed and one we think is well worth learning more about.